All right, YouTube, All right, YouTube another day up. with the snowmobiles. <laughs> we are uh, just drove like an hour back and forth so Ryan can pick up a can for his sled. What? Yeah, I was supposed to buy this can, but uh, I literally texted the guy last night. Me and Ryan didn't talk, and I supposedly this can won't fit my sled because it was off I of I didn't know this the can you were gonna get. Yeah, I literally texted the guy last night. I called Ryan, I'm like, hey, you wanna come with me to buy a can? He's didn't like, yeah. Where it was. And then he's like, yeah, I'm going to buy a can too today. I'm like, where is it? And it was the same place, same can, and it kinda worked out where that can wouldn't fit my sled. I should have not told him, let him. I didn't look it into it. And then I would have gave him half price. So <laughs> but uh, yeah, look at the difference we're taking from the that suitcase to that. Off. But uh, yeah, things should sound pretty good. You guys already, I don't think we really need to uh, do a sound test because it doesn't really sound like anything. But uh, take that, like you said, suitcase off. Get the new thing on. It's not branded. It has nothing, no logos on it. So it's just literally a can. And uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah should, uh, should sound pretty sweet. Okay, so I'm cutting into today's video to talk about the sponsor, which is Moto Amino. If you guys wanna check it out, it's linked down below in the description. But basically what Moto Amino is, is a perfect app if you like anything two wheels. Anybody that has a passion for motorcycles, this is the app for you. If you have a passion or interest in anything moto related, street bikes, dirt bikes, pit bikes, mini bikes, anything along that, in that genre, this is honestly like a perfect app where everybody can kind of talk and chat about their different bikes and builds and projects and stuff like that. And I personally uh, made a few posts on here on stuff that I haven't posted anywhere else. Check me out here. My username's just at Tyler Monaghan 188. Be on here kind of chatting with you guys, making various posts and kind of being interactive in the uh, in the chat. Or I like the different discussions and different builds people do and being able to see the process that people take through their build, compare it to my builds along with being able to kind of chat with the person about it, figuring out how they did it, and kind of their story behind why they did it, or why they picked certain parts, with kind of voting on different polls and such, on uh, favorite bike brands, different parts that you, um, somebody might recommend or want, and stuff like that. So overall, it kind of helps me, and it could help you figure out like a certain bike you want or how to build something. If you guys wanna see different stuff that you won't see anywhere else from me, you should definitely download Moto Amino. Like I said, it's linked down below in the description. You can give me a follow. Like I said, it's at Tyler Monaghan188. I'm going to be posting various little things on here um, as I'm doing it with the Alta build, the CR build, as I get to that. If you guys end up downloading the app, comment down below in the comment section what your username is. So you should definitely check it out if you're interested in dirt bikes or motorcycles or action sports and stuff like that. But like I said, it's linked down below if you want to download it. And uh, thank you once again to Moto Amino for sponsoring this video. And I uh, will carry on into the vlog. Brother sled over here has a can on it already. However, these Arctic cats come apart. I don't know. Take my word for it. I think it has a can. But that thing's pretty sick. Ryan, would you rather have the Arctic cat or the Skidoo at this point? Arctic cat. Arctic cat, really? I don't know, dude. That thing, that, that's a pretty bad unit, but that's a bad unit. it is a bad unit. Or, I mean, you could just go with the green unit. Springs and... So what's the update on this thing? You're getting it checked over before the next big ride? Yeah, I'm gonna take it apart. Yeah, before something else happens on it. What is it, that one behind it? Well, no, it's one right here, but I wanted to see if I could like spin the can. Yeah, I don't think this can's gonna move unless it comes directly out. Oh yeah, it might. Is it wedged? Well, no, it's just in the bottom. That's come off unless that other spring's off. Well, I just want to get it lifted out of here. You should really get a one of those spring pullers. I got one at the house. If I, so I would have known, I would have brought it. Hold it. Almost had it. Go. Ready? Yep. It's Hold in there the good. Edge. It's in there tight. Who designed this thing? Almost. Can you get to it a little better? No. Oh, I just come off freely. Fling off and hit you. I hope it does fling off, but not That's him. what's gonna happen. <laughs> Ryan was going at it for 10 minutes. I'm like, you know what, Ryan? Let me give it a shot. I just wedge oh, it man, off. I, it. I wedge it off. It takes like two seconds. I couldn't get it. <laughs> I honestly can't believe I did it that easy. That's I was one of the it times. Down here, and I think it was body and The one of the times it actually kind of worked out. I don't know where my other. All right, fire it up. It's just straight piped Whoa. right now. I lost the other spring, I'll find out. There's three right there. Somewhere. I, don't know. I just saw it. Told you, there's three. It's a pretty nice unit. How mad would you be right now if it didn't fit after that? Well, it does, so shut up. 
Let's just put it on my sled and just like, you know, just give the people what they want. Let's just put it on my sled. Yeah, give the people what they want for you to get an 800. I don't need an 800. I still smoked. I flew you, past you on the trail. I wasn't racing you. I flew past you. I don't even know you. why you did that. I flew past you. I couldn't go you. any faster. I flew past you. I was behind you. I think with maxed it out at like 103, 104. Yeah, you're that but that top speed thing on your side is not right. The 600 is maxed out at like 100. I don't know. I hit 104. <laughs> you didn't. You yes, I did. I hit you 104. Said you went 80. Yeah, I hit 104 when I passed you. <laughs> you didn't. Yeah, I did. You said you were doing 80. I flew past you at about 90, and then and I you kept. You flew past me for no reason. I kept going. Yeah, you were going too slow. I couldn't go any faster. <laughs> I was behind someone. No, you could. I was behind someone. I I wouldn't have been able ass. to pass you. I'm not gonna ride someone's ass for no reason. I was on you, you were going slow. I just had to show you what's up quick for a second, you know? I couldn't let you be too confident out there on the trail. I wasn't confident, I was just riding behind someone, not passing I'm just them. busting your balls. Yeah, you can do We'll do them head to head, 800 versus six. Yeah, watch your- Let's do it. Your, Once we actually get some snow. Smoke. Yeah, we'll do it for a video, we'll see what's faster. We'll do my 600 versus your 800, and then we'll do, we'll do Justin's 800 versus my 600. And we'll do Josh's 800 versus my we 600. We embarrass you three times. It'll be pretty close. We'll embarrass you Maybe, three we'll see. Times, Justin, me, and Josh. Hey, at least they'll sound good once we both have cans. That's all that cans. matters. All right, last spring, two hard ones are on. I'm gonna I'm jinx sure it, but sure I just jinxed right it. This all is right, one. beautiful. All right, fire it up. See how it sounds? You pumped right now? It's not gonna be loud sitting here. Well, I'm just saying, get it warmed up and ride it on the little amount of snow that we have, which is basically nothing but it's better than a uh, no sound test I suppose or I hate when you go and look up sled sound tests on YouTube and the guys are just revving it in their garage and it gives you no like sound I just don't understand it's got a better rumble to it off the start huh two poles this time Somebody was doing donuts over here. Thing's not studded anyway. It's not gonna hurt the concrete. Nice little sound to it, better than stock. You're done already? Ah, uh, two small runs. There's kind of snow. Sounds good though. It's Definitely. Like not stupid it's not stupid loud, but it's got a better sound to it for sure. Definitely. <laughs> that she's already getting put back away. Unfortunately, we don't have enough snow. So hopefully, come uh, midway through uh, January, we get yeah, some snow. Like we could be riding right now. Yeah, I know. Honestly, we could ride locally and not have to drive three or four hours to ride. That's honestly, ideally what we're looking for right now. Not having to travel super far. Just being able to go out and ride whenever. That's when all the solo wheel videos will come. Hitting a something. It's pretty tucked in there though. Stop. <laughs> Look at how heavy that thing is. What's it got away, 15 pounds? All right boys, so Ryan's got a little side job. He wants to get into the construction vlogging so he's gonna take the vlog camera. We'll see what he comes out with. Here you go. All right, so we just got here. Um, Got the machine running, got the 325 out here. Uh, my dad dug the trunch, and now I gotta come and backfill it, so. Let's see what we get ourselves into. I started filling over there, but I'm gonna switch the buckets out to the grading bucket, so. Get this changed out. Can't wait to get the new excavator and get the quick exchange. And like that, the buckets are changed. 
like that the trench is filled in all the way we'll have to come back and grade it another day we just want to get it done before the the rain came so filled in packed in all right well hopefully you enjoyed those short clips of ryan You're not putting that on the, the job i might have put some of those in the vlog if not i don't know where i'm going with this i'm starting a channel <laughs> we'll see we'll see how not that goes my channel though a straight uh construction there's one of my excavators on the there's job. one of your excavators on the job you yeah. going to pick it up i dropped no i dropped that up my kubota and my camera oh really yeah. well you only got that for like well like three thousand it wasn't too bad right no the, it's a good deal that good one deal. was 45 right? oh that's it all right so it's been a few days since i've actually filmed anything obviously i haven't posted in a few days uh, i just took a couple days off after the uh the new year posted a video almost every single day for two months so I took about a week off, a three-day break before I come out with the rest of the Alta Build Series videos. That way I can film them all, have them come out back to back to back. The Alta's still in the same condition. I got some parts over here. I don't know if I've showed yet. Got all the parts good to go. I have everything ready to go to put this thing back together. So if you're waiting on the Alta Build, um, all the rest of the Build Series videos should be coming out soon. Um, the CR Build is on the back burner until I finish the Alta. I wanna have two bikes taken apart and parts everywhere and misplacing stuff, so that'll get taken apart as soon as I finish that thing. But uh, yeah, I've just been busy not filming. Uh, I finally finished the garage, painted the ceiling, finally painted the other wall. Um, that way, this thing's all good to go now. Don't mind all the randomness of the lights, but uh, it works. Finally organized everything under here. Still gotta do all this crap, but I will get there tomorrow once I uh, film the rest of the the all to build and finally putting this thing back together. Yeah, the 125, it's got the uh, the 250 wheel on there because it's still, I still have yet to clean this thing from a uh, switchback. So I gotta take that out tomorrow. We've had got like two warm days. I'm gonna break the power washer out, freshen that up so it's good to go. Then I gotta swap the, uh, the back wheel back on the 125 and then I'll get new tires for that 250. But uh, yeah, everything's just a kind of work in progress right now. Like I said, a couple days off, just kind of caught up um, with everything. I was pushed off in the back burner. So, but like I said, I've just kind of been organizing myself, getting everything ready to go for the new year. The pitter over here getting stored away. I still got to get that back wheel all good to go. I got all the parts in for that. So I just got to take it apart and uh, fix that whole rear brake thing. Because this thing right now has no brakes since the front brake line is all broken up from when Ryan crashed or when he crashed it going up the ramp on the back of the truck so I kind of pinch it so I need a new one of those it's all like floppy in there too if my camera would focus on this thing right here but that's broken so right now it literally has no brakes so if you guys want to see the finished Alta I'll probably post it on my Instagram before I actually post the vlog so if you don't already follow me you can give me a follow at Tyler Monaghan like I said I'll probably update uh, Instagram stories and I'll post before the vlogs, most likely I'll make a post before the vlogs come out. I guess I'll show you, I finally got uh, the red heat shrink in to get rid of this red um, electrical tape on here. So I know this is kind of a short little video, I'll jump it around for multiple days of filming and previous days. If you guys are new, hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.